All right, this is Grade 2, Module 4, Lesson 19, and we are going to be connecting our manipulatives to the official standard algorithm. So all that work with the place value chart is now going to pay off with the students using the official standard algorithm in this lesson. Uh, but we are going to um, solve using that written standard algorithm. However, we're also going to uh, use that place value chart to make sure that the students are getting the answer right and they see the connection between the algorithm and the uh, place value chart that we've been using. So I'm going to make a line here. So let's start with this uh, 84 plus 37. And I'm going to begin uh, by making that place value chart. And in this case, it's going to be the ones, tens, and hundreds. And then over here, I'm going to write 84 plus 37. All right, so that's where our standard algorithm is going to be written. Over here is where we're going to be using our manipulatives. All right, so first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to model 84. So let's get 84 going here. So I'm going to do 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 7, 8. So there's 80, and then 4 is 1, 2, 3, 4. So there's our 84. And then I want to model 37. So that's going to be 3 here in the tens column. So that's 30. And then 7, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. All right, and so I've modeled 84 plus 37. And now uh, let's, let's add them together. So first thing we're going to do is we're going to look at the ones column here. Now when we count them all, we have 4 up here plus we have 7 down here. So that's 11 ones. And we know that we can cash 10 of them in for an extra 10 over here. And then we would have one one left over. So let's circle that. So let's do that. And we're going to say, okay, well, here's 10 ones. And that cashes in to equal an extra one over here. And we're going to have one one left over. So we had 11. But now we can cash 10 of them in for an extra dot in the tens column. And then we have one single one unit left over. All right, so now what do we have over here? So we had 8 up here, plus we had 3 down here, plus we have an extra one here. So that's 12. So we have 12 tens. So we know that we can cash in 10 of those tens. Here's 10, and if you want, you might need to pause the video to make sure I've actually circled 10. And out of those 12, 10 of those 10s can be cashed in for an extra dot in the hundreds column, leaving us with 2 in the tens column left over, these two right here. So we have 1 left over in the ones column, we have 2 left over in the tens column, and then these 10 tens combine together to equal 1 in the hundreds column, and that's it. So our answer is 121. Well, let's connect that with that standard algorithm over here. So here's our ones column like we had over here, and 4 plus 7 is 11. Now that's more than enough 10, so we can bundle together uh, I'm sorry, that's more than enough ones. So we can bundle 10 ones together, and that cashes in to equal a 10. So we have one left over, plus we had enough to bundle 10 ones together to equal a 10. So now we have 8 tens plus 3 tens plus a new 10 here. So when we add those together, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. So we have 12 tens. So we have more than enough to bundle 10 together, and we're, that's going to leave us with 2 left over. So we bundled a 10, and that goes into the hundreds column, which there's nothing else in the hundreds column, so our answer is 121. All right, 
So let's do this next one, uh, 42 plus 79, only this time, let's do the standard algorithm first, 42 plus 79. So when we add our 1's together, 9 plus 2 is 11. Well, that's more than 10, so we have enough to bundle a 10. So we're going to bundle a 10, carry, and then we have 1, 1 left over. There's our 11 right here. 9 plus 2 is 11, and you can see right here we had 1, 10 plus 1, 1 left over. And now when we add our 10s together, we have 4 10s plus 7 10s plus 1, so that's 12. So that's uh, 12 10s, so that means we have enough to bundle a 10 together into the hundreds column, plus we have 2 left over, and then 1 in the hundreds column. So our answer is 121. Now if we wanted to, we really should do that place value chart to verify that we did everything correctly, but for the purposes of this video, I'm not going to. But it would be a good idea to have our students um, bundle or make their place value chart ones, tens, hundreds, and then model 42 plus 79 in that place value chart. So I chose this problem first off because it's a word problem, but secondly because it's a nice opportunity for us to draw those um, tape diagrams. So we have 74 trees were planted in the garden. 49 more bushes were planted than trees. So how many bushes were planted in the garden? So I'm going to draw... This is not necessarily a second grade requirement. I just thought I would show you the tape diagrams that students in third, fourth, and fifth grade will be drawing. So T stands for trees, B stands for bushes, and we're going to begin by drawing two tapes, one representing the trees, one representing the bushes, and I tried to draw them identically. So we've got two identical tapes for the trees and the bushes, and then we're going to go back and read the question. It says 74 trees were planted in the garden. So that means this bar right here represents 74. So there's our 74 trees. And then it says 49 more bushes were planted than trees. All right, so that means this tape needs to be longer, and I'm going to extend it, and it's longer by 49. So there's our 49 right here. And so, but the big question is how many bushes were planted total? So that's this length right here. So that's my question mark. So how do we figure out that length? Well, it's going to be uh, this length plus 49. Well, how much is this length? Well, at the beginning of the story, I drew both of these tapes to be identical. So this is also 74. So our bushes is going to be whatever the answer to 74 plus 49 is. So let's do it. So let's add the ones column. So we have 9 plus 4, that's 13. So that means we have enough to bundle a 10 into the tens column. So we're going to have 3 left over and one in the tens column. We have enough to uh, bundle together equaling uh, one in the tens column. And now we can add seven plus four plus one, and that's uh, 12. So that's enough to bundle one into the hundreds column, bundle 10 together into the hundreds column. So that was 12, so we're gonna have two left over in the tens column, and we're gonna have one in the hundreds column which leaves us our answer as 123. So we have 123 bushes. Now the question is how many trees and bushes were planted? Well, we know that we have 123 bushes. We know that we have 74 trees, and we're going to add these together. Now teachers and parents, make sure your students are lining up the ones with the ones the tens with the tens, and the hundreds with the hundreds. So we have to make sure our students are lining everything up properly. 
And now when we add them together, uh, it's pretty straightforward. Adding the 1's together, 3 plus 4, that gives us 7. No need for bundling. And then when we add our 10's together, 2 plus 7, that's 9. Again, no need for bundling. And then lastly, adding our 100's together, we have just 100. So our answer is 197 total. And that is Grade 2, Module 4, Lesson 19, where we are connecting that manipulative, the place value chart, to the official standard algorithm.